What's up, Scorpio? How's it going? So, so I, I really like you guys, honestly. I, I get along with a lot of Scorpios. My sister's a Scorpio. I have water in my chart, so you, you, I just it's easy for me to connect with with you guys. So, so anyways, yeah. Hi, I'm <laughs> I'm Joshua, and I'm gonna kind of start this reading off by uh, going over like the highlights of the month, you know, astrologically what's going on. And I'm gonna go ahead and just start shuffling your cards here. And we'll, we'll dig right into the reading. So let me know how y'all's November was, okay? I would be interested to know how that went for you guys because November was pretty, it was pretty great for, for me. And yeah, I know, I mean, there's some good things happening with, with Scorpio, with you guys, you know, Jupiter recently went into y'all sign and it'll be there for, you know, a year. And Jupiter, you know, is the planet of expansion and optimism and luck and, uh, wealth, you know, it's, it's a lot of abundance can, can, can be manifested and can happen. Um, when, whoop, uh, Jupiter is, is in your sign. So, um, but for December, so December, the full moon happens on the third. Okay. And the full moon for December is going to be in Gemini. Okay, so you might be feeling extra conversational, maybe a little more social, um, but it's also very antsy and um, just a very antsy and kind of indecisive place for uh, the moon to be in as well. And on, on, on top of that, um, you know, it just, it just being that way, you know, being in Gemini, we have the Mercury retrograde that starts the day of the full moon as well. And so Mercury retrograde will be, will be retrograde until the 22nd. And it, so it'll go direct again on the 22nd. And... So, you know, just it's it, bear in mind, it's typically, you know, discouraged to start anything new and to, uh, you know, not to sign any contracts that you don't have to sign. Because um, a, lo a lot of the times there can be difficulties and, and, and those might fall through um, during the time of a Mercury retrograde. So, you know, just note that and you know, right before the retrograde ends, uh, on the 21st, the sun, sorry, excuse me, goes into Capricorn. And, you know, Capricorn's an earth sign, so it's, it's, it's your opposite element, and it's, it's complementary to you. It's, it's, it's a good place. And the winter solstice also happens on that same day. Okay, and so... There's a lot of stuff going on. Um, now, there's also, we also have, of course, the new moon that happens um, on the 18th. And it starts off in Sagittarius, okay? Ooh. Hold on, guys. Okay. It starts off in Sagittarius, but it'll only be there for six-ish hours, and then the moon goes void of course, which when it's n void of course and tra transiting the signs and not in a sign, you know, it can kind of cause fogginess and unsettled feelings Woo! with people. And, you know, it doesn't last that long, so it's not that bad. But just something to bear, you know, it's, it, it can be, it's going to be starting out in Sagittarius. It's going to be like a fun, you know, new moon. That's going to bring you probably some new, 
some new insights and, 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 and really philosophical, you know, kind of ideas. Um, so anyways, let's look at your cards and, and, and see what we got here. Um, so while you look at these, I'm going to go ahead and also pull a couple of rune stones. So, uh, the first card we have uh, for the first week of December for you is the Two of Pentacles. And it's reversed. And so it's kind of making me think, especially with that Gemini full moon and retrograde energy that's happening at the beginning of the month, you know, it's leaving you just... You know, a little, a little up in the air, a little not as forthright maybe as you usually are, you know, you just might be feeling, you may not be seeing both sides of the coin, so to speak, you know, it might just be difficult to see all of your options and to weigh your options equally at the beginning of the month here. And then it's also just kind of a time for you to, you know, just kind of sit back and just rebalance here, you know? Just kind of meditate and, and, and soak in the projects and ideas and things that you do have coming up and developing. And, and I, I would almost say too, you know, in a way this is kind of encouraging you to, to kind of get out and be sociable, but you know, not, not worry about mm, not not being, oh, how do I phrase this, Scorpio? Um, not being overly sensitive, maybe, is what I'm getting. Not being overly sensitive, maybe, in your social circle. You know? But it's it's very much not, not really a go-for-it energy. It's kind of rebalancing, just kind of being, you know, and the rune that I got for y'all for the first part of the month is, can you see it? There we go. Is Legaz. And Legaz is, it's a very feminine rune. Very intuitive. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, hold up. I'm sorry, this is not Legaz. I am so sorry. This, I'm sorry, this is a rune of Iwaz. This is Iwaz. And it's a very intuitive rune. It's, it's you know, it's that, 
it, it's well, and it's very, it's very protective. And it can kind of indicate, you know, maybe a, a minor issue, a minor stump in, in, in an idea, you know, which we're kind of seeing here, you know, just a minor issue or, or, or stump, you know, that's asking you to kind of just rebalance and, and look at both sides. You know, and then moving into the second week here, it's like you're kind of because Iwas, you know, yes, it can be that little minor setback, so to speak, but it's it's a rune of it's that protective strength sort of energy that gives you, it gives you the strength to overcome whatever the issue is, you know, it's, but there is, there is something that you're having to, to deal with, you know, and just to rebalance, bring in, bring back into balance. And it may have a lot to do with your work life here because, you know, they're both pentacles. And so I, I'm, I, I, what I'm getting, you know, when you get to the second week here, it's going to be, you're going to feel a lot more confident. Okay. You're going to feel a lot more confident and, and, and knowing in forthright, you know, in your ideas and how you want to present them to the world. You know, what direction in life and business you're going. You know, this is you like really embracing it and, and, and you know, kind of stepping back from the noise of life too, to focus on the projects and, and works that you have happening. You know, and it's, it's, it's going to be fruitful for you, you know. It's really going to serve you well to do this. And, you know, in the third week here, third week we have, so we have the high priestess, and she's reversed. Mm, to me, this kind of indicates... some distrust, uh, some, mm, energy that might be kind of disrupting you. You know, it might be someone who's kind of disrupting you. And here, your rune for the last half of the month here is Haggle which means hail and it can, you know, definitely be disruption, delay, um, can be karmatic events even coming into play. You know, it, 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 it cautions you not to force anything to happen right now. You know, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a waiting period. This third week is going to be very much a waiting period for you and a time to really tap into your intuition, you know, and understand who and what's around you, what's best for you. Because I just, I, I, I sense... I'm sensing that there's some kind of energy or person around you, Scorpio, that might not have your best interests at heart. They may be, maybe even unintentionally, 
kind of misle misleading you, misguiding you in a way. And it could just be you maybe getting, getting too caught up in your own feelings too. You know, you might, you might just be struggling with that lighter, that lighter and darker side of yourself. And trying to embrace it, you know, because upright, you know, high priestess, she, she embraces her intuition and her knowledge and knowing and being completely and utterly centered. I'm just showing kind of a minor, there's like some kind of minor setback in the third week, you know, or some energy that's kind of just messing with you, Scorpio. You know, you just, you, you might have to really dig deep and it just might be something within yourself. You know, all of your cards here actually really are just like one person cards. There's not anyone else really in the cards. So I think a lot of this is, you know, self-work with you. Yeah. And so, you know, just don't, in the third week, try not to force anything, you know, or um, be open to, you know, be open and receptive to the messages and to the energy around you, okay? And, you know, it kind of carries over a little bit into the fourth week at the end of December, okay? And this is the Queen of Wands, okay? So the Queen of Wands is... She is, you know, she's a powerful person and leader here. And you see the cat here shows that she, her intuition is heightened, you know? So I feel like you're here, you know, where it's not so heightened or where you're having to kind of develop, You know, the intuition, really dig deep and, you know, find that balance. Like, you're definitely going to find it by the end of the month. And you're going to be very intuitively connected with the energies around you, with nature, with source. And there might even be, you, you see the lions up around her and, and on the, uh, on her throne here. You know, there could be a Leo who's helping you embrace your power, so to speak, as well. You know, there could be some fire sign. It doesn't have to be a Leo, um, but just with the the lions here, it kind of makes me think it, it could be, but a fire sign might be helping inspire you to just reclaim that intuitive depth and, and power to yourself, you know, that is going to serve you in the work and projects that you're doing and that you're wanting to achieve in the world, you know? the name you're wanting to make for yourself in the world. You know, you, you have to embody confidence and, 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 and your power. You know, so I'm, and I'm showing, you know, with the haggle rune, this is like a big shift that's happening, you know, because you're going from, uh, sorry, whoop. you're going from, you know, struggling here to here, you know, embracing that power and intuitive knowledge, uh, you know, maybe uncovering what this issue or person or energy was, maybe that was messing with you, or again, you know, could just be you learning to embrace your <sighs> high, 
higher self, you know, the dark and the light. So I see you really coming into your own at the end of the month, Scorpio, and that's that's a beautiful thing. And and you you're doing some awesome work that I think is really going to serve you well and just really catapult you, you know, again into in, into the world and really I feel like there's just recognition. There's there's recognition that is coming to you. This is this is being recognized. Boom boom boom. So that's all I have for you, Scorpio. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, comment. You know, let me know how this reading helped you, uh, how it's applicable to you. And, you know, so I just, I, I wish you guys the very best this month. I hope y'all have a happy Christmas. And I hope, um, yeah, just, you know, embody, embody, embody that power. And, and embody your light and your dark self, okay? Okay, you guys can do it, okay? So I will see y'all next month. Until then, bye for now.